the majority of the corn you see is actually a hybrid plant. You know, we really create inbreds first. Um, so we essentially, we're creating the parents of the hybrids. What we do then is we'll make crosses between all these parents uh, and evaluate that essentially the children or the, the hybrid from the result of that cross. And then we try to sort it down. We have to test that over years to find out which one is truly the best hybrid. The tassel is where the pollen comes from. And then you have the ear, which is the silk. So the flower is actually separated in two separate components in the plant. What we have to do in a breeding nursery, we have to hand pollinate. So the seed we're after, you know, could be as much as a cup full of seed. And so what hand pollination entails is really, you know, controlling pollen flow. And, and you'll see that when you see the bags on the tassels and the bags on the, the ear shoots. Uh, that's the whole concept is we need to control pollen flow. You're physically moving pollen, yes. So we're, we're catching it in bags and then we physically move it to where we want it to go. A lot of it is maintaining seed of the parents so we can do what we want to do. If we have a great parent, we need a lot of seed to create more hybrids. So it's really, it's all about seed management, creating seed. When we detassel, we, we're doing that to control pollen movement and saying we want the pollen from this plant to pollinate this plant. So when you drive around, you'll see these four rows essentially with no tassels that are shorter, a taller row, and then the, the pattern repeats across the entire field. And that's what we're after. We're wanting that pollen from that one row to pollinate the other four rows. Uh, and if we're successful, then we'll get ears of corn off of those four short rows and we'll harvest those. And then that is the seed that actually goes into the seed bag to get sold to growers. When you buy a bag of hybrid seed corn and you take that out, you know, you can think there was seven, probably seven to 10 years of development time going in. It's a, it's a lot like winning the lottery. You know, for that hybrid, it had to beat out so many other hybrids, so many other parents were trying to get in that bag of seed, but that was the one that won it. Um, so, it's, so it's a pretty special seed when you're holding it in your hand.